What is up everybody? My name is Zach. Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are answering the question of how to check if a list is empty or not in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What is up everybody? So like I mentioned in this video, we're trying to figure out ways to check whether or not a list is empty in Python. And I'm gonna give you two methods to do so. One, that I, the first one that I thought of, method number one, is kind of the one that I, I just intuitive, like if I was thinking, were to think about this, I was like, this is how I'd probably do it. Um, the method number two is based on just me looking at out there and just seeing like, hey, like, is there a better way or other ways that could do this? And this is one of the ways that I thought was kind of cool that I thought I'd show. But before we start, let's talk about our setup. Our setup is essentially, um, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I just been using this current list that's just one through four. Now I add another one that's called just an empty list. There's just nothing in it just so we can use this. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run these functions on both of them and it should tell us like, it t should tell us that this one's not empty and, and it has something in it. And it should tell us that this one is empty. So the first method, the one that I kind of thought of is essentially just checking if the length of the list is equal to zero. And what I do did is you could do like an if statement if this is if you're trying to capture this around an if statement, or if you need to assign this to a variable and use that, which is kind of the example I'm running with here. That's what I did. I essentially said, here's my variable is empty. And I said the length of the list, and then I just use this Boolean expression to say that if it's equal to zero. And this, if, if the length of the list is like four equals equals zero, obviously four does not equal to zero. So it'll say that, hey, this is false. So if I were to run this through it, this should tell us, like in this part right here, it should say that, hey, this is not empty. Method number one for using this list is not empty. Whereas method number two for using this list is empty. So let's go ahead and run that and I'll run it right here. And essentially you'll see that, hey, method number one is empty, it's false. And that's because yeah, there's stuff in here. So of course is empty is false. Um, method number two, or I mean list number two, using an empty list of that, method number one is empty. Yes, this is true because there's nothing in there. So that's essentially method number one. That's kind of the way that I thought through it. Another way you could use this, uh, if you're trying to do this and you wanna use the if statement, like I said, is you could say if the length of the list is not equal to, or if the length of the list is equal to zero, then print empty. So if I run this, you should see that I get, and I'll just do this indent here so it makes it so we can read it better down below. If I run it, you should see that, um, yeah, it did not print empty because the length of the list for this one is not zero. There's stuff in it, so, uh, but as you can see here, it did. So that's the two methods you can use if you want to, for this, the kind of the way that I thought through it, that if you just want to use it through an if statement to capture it, or if you wanted to assign it to a variable, that's how you could go about it. So let's talk about method number two, and this is probably the more Pythonic way of doing it that people do, and it's actually kind of cool. So let's talk about method number two. Hey, I just want to jump in real quick, say, thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. Okay, so method number two is something that I found when I was just doing some research on this because I was trying to think, is there a better way to do this? Is there a better way to check whether or not a list is empty? And the method that I found is probably what I what people re would refer to as the more Pythonic way or the more concise way to do that in Python. And that's essentially using the Boolean-ness is what they kind of like the Boolean-ness or using a bool value of a list. Because what's interesting is, is I can do this so kind of using the same logic here. Like this is the way you want to do it if you want to assign it to a variable. But if you wanted to check if a, if a list is empty, like if you're using like a control statement, like an if stuff to say, hey, if it's empty, um, like then do something. So in this case, I'm gonna say if list, then I want you to say like print not empty. And I'll talk about this here in a sec. So if we run this, we should get that again, like I mentioned before, we should get the exact same results as what we did above. And so, and I'm gonna uncomment these so we can run it and we'll talk further about it. Now, what I wanna show here is essentially like when I ran through this list, so I have the list of one, two, three, four. When I do method number two, um, and it shows number one. So let me change this really quick and we'll rerun this and let me actually, do that, or we run this really quick. All right, so this will make it more. This will make more sense as we go through and look at this. Um, so when I run through this list, you should see that it says it's not empty, and that's what we expected. Um, but what I wanted to talk about about the booleanness is a lot of times I'll use this in like my programming stuff. Is I'll say, hey, if I just to double check and see if there's anything in this object or in this list. I'll do if list, then I want you to do whatever I wanted to, or however I need to use the contents of that list. Um, and if you do not list, that's basically saying the opposite, saying like, hey, if not list, meaning if there's 
nothing in there, then do something. And that's essentially what I'm doing up here when I'm assigning this to this variable. This is basically saying like, like I, I, I don't, I'm not 100% for sure, but I assume what's kind of happening is probably something similar to this on the internals of this. So it's basically doing some buoy evaluation of saying, hey, like this list is empty. There's nothing here. Like the the, value, the length of it is zero. Like, so um, yeah, do, by doing a not, this is going to say, yeah, that's by not this, it's going to say, yeah, there's nothing in here. So that means it's empty. And so when you assign a variable to is empty, it's meaning, yep, that if there's nothing in there, it's going to be true and go ahead and do it. Otherwise, you, if you do something like this, like say if list, if, if there is something in here, then it will say, hey, there, that means that there's, you know, there's values in that list um, compared to the not value. So basically that's the two methods. This is the more Pythonic way. If that's a little confusing, leave some um, comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, maybe explain this more, but essentially by doing the, using the Booleanist and doing a not in the list object, it'll check whether or not it is empty. So if this is, is empty and we do a not and there's actually something value, you'll see like this does down here, it'll say it's false. But if you pass an empty list in and use this not, it'll say, yeah, that is empty. So that is true, especially for like this list right here. So those are the two different methods that you can use to check whether or not a list is empty in Python. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know how you would use these. I could definitely see, like I definitely the use cases I use is a lot more of the using the if statements rather than a variable um, because then I, sometimes it's just creating an extra variable that I don't really need, but sometimes that's useful. So play with it and let me know what you think in the comments below and which one you like better or which one you prefer. Hey, thank you so much for programming with me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope this provided you value in how you can further your you know Python knowledge and, and it actually your understanding of lists, specifically geared to how you can check whether or not a list is empty um, using those two different methods, whether it's using the boolean of the list or if it's using kind of like the just checking the count or the or the length of the list. And if it's, you know, if it's zero, then that means it's empty. Otherwise, it means there's something in it. And so let me know what you th which method you like below in the comments. And uh, until next time, keep on programming.